Hey, this is Drake here. I was going to go over another First Descendant video. I watched a lot of videos on some good uh, farming locations. and I mean, there, there's some really great ones out there, but they're kind of character specific. And if you like me and you don't really, you know, I'm upgrading Lepic here, so um, I can't really run Bunny to do the great farming or Valby or, or Farina or any of those. And I don't really know anyone that's running those characters that would be willing to jump in with me and just farm for hours and hours so probably like most people what i wind up doing is this these special operations now i kind of hated doing it at first until i realized that i was actually double farming and didn't even realize it now this one seems to be the best xp farm i kind of tested it yesterday and to go to the first one level seven you get around i was getting around 200k uh, XP 200,000 XP now I do have I am getting a 15% uh, character XP gain modifier off of this sensor here which you know I mean if you have one of these throw it on great it's just 15% faster farming to upgrade your character but what I didn't realize until I checked my inventory is after the latest update on the drop rates apparently they up the rate of these amorphous material drops I had probably 25 of these in my inventory. I wound up getting four crystallization catalyst blueprints. Blue Can't talk to that again. And uh, I didn't in actually get lucky enough to get the energy activator blueprint to drop, but you know, as you see, it's only 3%, so it's kind of RNG on that one. But yeah, I actually had enough that I didn't have to go actually target farm any amorphous material for my crystallization blueprints just because I was doing this mission to level up my character. So I thought, you know, I had not seen anyone else mention it in the video. They seem to be kind of overlooked. But the other great thing about these two, these are actually linked to the very first uh, Colossus in the game. Honestly, it takes two seconds to kill it just with a regular firearm. So, I mean, probably the quickest farm in the game for opening these, trying to get these blueprints. Now, there is some rare ones that uh, give a 5% better drop rate, but honestly, they're a lot harder to get, and there's a lot harder bosses you have to fight to open them. So, I mean, bang for your buck, I think if you're just leveling up your character, you don't, you're not leveling up the character to run one of those other, you know, running circles farm. This one is being highly overlooked, because like I said, I have, I've got to make one more. I've got it, two more catalyst to my build to have it exactly where I want to have it completely upgraded and I have not target farmed to get the blueprints at all just from running this to upgrade my character and getting these drops and this morning they actually updated to where these will drop the void shards and they drop more gold too so actually great gold farming I mean if this dropped Kuiper shards it would be the best farm in the game in my opinion and I kind of don't even mind it not dropping inventory because once you kind of get what you want, I mean, you get materials from dismantling your inventory, but honestly, it just kind of slows down the farming process. You're always having to stop and take time to do that. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention it since everyone else seemed to be kind of overlooking it. I hadn't seen any videos on it. And I uh, said, I mean, before the patch, I'd played this a bunch of times. I don't think I ever got one amorphous material to drop. But uh, after yesterday... I got three to drop in one run at each interval. And usually I will say, if you haven't run this, you're not familiar with it. Up till around phase 12, it's pretty easy. Now at 12, I'm guessing it's halfway point. They get a huge bump in HP and damage that they do. And it's usually, if you're just joining in with randoms, that's when they start struggling. So, I mean, seven to 10, normally really good. But if anyone's not high enough level on their equipment, around 12 is when they start struggling. And I usually try to stop it by 14. But what it doesn't show on this graph, or maybe it does, as you go up, yeah, it does, your chances for getting the amorphous materials actually go up. So it's better to stick with it. See, like at 7, you've only got 30%. I have got a few shape st uh, stabilizers from this also. I think I've got 5 or 6 just from running this. And they're actually linked to the same materials. So, I mean, just gives you everything you need, basically. But as you go up, see it goes from 30 to 50. Here it stays at 50. But here it goes to 80. And at the last phase, 
you actually oh wow i didn't even know that you actually get a chance to get two of these so you could potentially if you got lucky enough you could get eight amorphous materials from running this one mission one time i mean that would take an insane amount of luck but like i said so far i usually don't go past 14 because usually the randoms start dropping out at that point but if you had a group that was all level 100 gear you could easily clear to 21 and potentially get eight amorphous materials in around 50 minutes to run the entire thing and uh get loads of xp to upgrade your characters while you're waiting on your crystallization catalyst to finish uh baking anyway because it takes seven and a half hours to make one it ain't like you can exactly use them back to back and as far as i know you can only make one at a time so unless you're just on the game 24 hours a day which i'm not usually about one a day is all you'll be able to squeeze out but that was it. I just thought I'd mention this farm. I mean, like I hadn't seen anybody really mention it. I saw some video early on saying it was the best XP farm and it kind of got replaced. But uh, after the update and the rate drops and today with the next update, they just made it even a little bit better. I run it this morning and went to phase 14. I think I've got uh, 10 drops for the uh, void shards. So, I mean, honestly, it's not too bad. Like I said, if they just add Kuiper shards to this, I would basically just farm everything here. But that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.